Still playing the game, what do we do? I don't know, man. Uh, think of something. What can we use? Deathwing? Okay. What's he gonna do? Let's have him resurrect Ragnaros. We already killed Ragnaros. <laughs> so what? You know, and then that was basically how Cataclysm happened. Wait, oh, oh, wow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, look at that. Wow, we. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they already made him, ki they just kill Nixia twice. I mean, continuity is out the fucking door. So who cares? I mean, let's just go with it at this point. Oh, slime. That's good. It's like Nickelodeon. Wow. Okay, so we've looked around over here. And there's, oh, is that, I thought that was an antler. Or what, what are the things that, that have antlers called? A deer. Yeah, a deer. So wait a second. I think that I know where we're at. So this is, this would be where the Firelands entrance would be. So the Firelands entrance was right there. And this is where that nemesis, the turtle, would patrol around. Yeah, I, I know where we are. So are, are we going up to the world tree? Oh my god. Grizzly Hills music. Yeah, it was fucking amazing, dude. Everybody, yeah, the molten front. Uh, let's see. We'll go up to this way. Streamer is destroying classic. I cannot wait to destroy classic. Like, the fact that I'm able to ruin other people's experiences in the game makes me that much more likely to enjoy the game. I'm like a happiness vampire. Whenever I know that someone else is mad, that makes me more happy. Okay? Like, if I, if I know I'm making somebody mad... Oh, wow. Look at this. So this is all from basically the Warcraft 3. Well, let me go up to here first. Let me check up here and see if I can get up here. Um. Oh. Okay, let me see if I can do this jump. I can do the jump. I I'm a god at jumping. I'm a god at jumping. Watch. Okay, jumping god, as I said. Okay, so there's like this little weird, like, uh, like gate thing. And this must be... So this is where... Wait a second. I'm putting everything together here. This right here. So if you look at the Warcraft 3, the map for the last, let me see if I can pull it up here. Cause this is what they based it off of. Um, uh, Warcraft 3, uh, Warcraft 3, last night elf campaign, last night elf mission. Let me see if I can find a map for you guys and show you. Okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't really show anything that well. Fuck, man. Uh, I'm trying to find something to, like, illustrate what I'm talking about. It's like just this little tiny fucking part right here. So basically, I feel like this is actually where the Scourge was at. Like, where I'm looking at right here, this is where the- oh, shit, why does that always happen? This is where the Scourge was at right here. And so they break through these gates, and we're probably going to go through the-
Okay, go back. Um, yeah, we'll do it after. Let's do it after because then we'll have to circle all the way back around. Uh, and then we can explore. We'll basically just like do a big lap around. I think that's probably the smartest thing to do. Uh, yeah, let's go up first. I think that's the smartest thing is. Uh, he says that's... It, uh, he says, damn it, follow... He says, follow me. Okay, all right, Hygel. Hygel wants us to follow him. He's taken us this far. He's been our guide. We have to follow Hygel jumps. That's the right decision to make. We're going the way that he wants. All right, he's been our, uh, our travel guide for the whole time. And uh, he's put up with all of our shit. So uh, he says to follow him. And we're going to follow him. Uh, how'd they get there? Glitching? Oh, it's not really glitching. It's just like wall jumping. Uh, nothing too per too amazing or special or specific. Uh, we were just able to wall jump and get all the way over there. So uh, we actually... I'm surprised that we're making this much progress already, dude. This is actually fucking amazing. Like, I thought that it was going to take me like an hour to get into Hydro. Like, just because I'm so bad at wall jumping. Okay, so... Where are we going now? Okay, we're going back around this way. Uh... How was dinner with your dad? It was really good, actually. Yeah, it was great. Nice exploit, Asmon. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this is really cool. I had no idea this is completed. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people didn't even know about this shit, which is probably the coolest fucking part about it. Like, if everybody had already been here, who cares? But, like...
I will actually show you guys that video after this if you want. I will show you the uh, the uninstanced Outlands because uh, it's actually a really, really cool fucking place to go. And if I'm able to do this, uh, I will make a mage specifically to do this. And uh, I'll do it maybe tonight even and uh, level up a mage and get him good to go. And uh, that way I can show you guys what it is and uh, actually do it myself and give you guys the uh, opportunity to see it. Uh, I leveled actually a second warrior last night because I was bored and I was like, man, I really don't want to have to play BFA. <laughs> and so I leveled a second warrior all the way up from five to just like practice all of my leveling routes and everything. So uh, I might actually just make two warriors from now on and have one of them for tanking and one of them for DPS. Can you bug down to old Iron Forge as a mage? So it looks like we don't have anything. Okay, console. Wait, what is this here? Um, Numlock, console, camera, max dist, camera.
Shut up, idiot. Actually, this song is kind of annoying. I'm going to change it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, actually, I, I, I agree with you. I don't want to listen to that song anymore. Okay, so we have like a little view out there of just looking at a very big blue screen. It's basically like my computer back whenever this was current content. Uh, let's go all the way back around and then we'll go up to the top. Okay, let's go. In-game music? There is no in-game music. If there was, I'd be playing it, but unfortunately there is not. Okay, let's look around, boys. Let's go. Set far equipped to 1300. I don't know about any of that, man, but uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, let's go, boys. Keep heading over there and we'll uh, we'll be fine. Uh, try this uh, console far equip 30, 1300. Slash console. Let me see. Uh, actually, you know what? Like, I don't want to take this risk because I feel like if I start putting a bunch of stuff in here, uh, something will go wrong. I just have a feeling about it. Slash console far equip. For, let me actually we're, wait. Wait here, guys. Wait here, guys. I'm going to look up this command. Console far equip 1300. Okay. See if our controls. Okay. All right. Here we go. Um, 1300. Okay, slash, all right, all right, let me try this. Um, 1,500. Nothing. No change. ZaboX, thank you very much for the five gifted community subs. I appreciate that very much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, someone says, I've been fucking with the VDIS and stuff. They're saying to do. It doesn't make a difference from just using max graphics and the options. Far Eclipse the one you want? Yeah. Yeah, obviously, that's not going to, uh, oh. Oh, wow. Wow. So this is like destroyed Night Elf Ruins. Oh, I know where this is. This is where the satyr was at. Remember the satyr that would tell you to kill all the fucking trees and the little bushes here? Yeah, you had to talk to that satyr. You talked to him, and then you had the, the Night Elf encampment right here. And then, then you go this way. Holy shit. So they've actually reused like almost all of this. It's actually incredible. Oh my god, and we're gonna go up there in a second. I'm just gonna do a lap around the outside first. Oh my god, this is crazy. Grizzly Hills music. Um, we don't um, we don't have the music right now. I mean, there's not, they're not gonna have Grizzly Hills music in Classic WoW unless I go back and I play it like on my own. Okay, so there's a little chair here, and let me check what's over at the top right now. This is Jaina's base too. Oh yeah, you're right. So this is where we start off. This is where the Alliance start off in the uh, the Caverns of Time. Is Jaina would be right there, and then the uh, the Scourge would be running through this way, and you'd be fighting them right in this area. Holy shit, man. Okay, let's keep going. We're exploring a little bit more. All right, let's go. All right, um, we're looking around a little bit more. So there's that area. Don't really need to worry about that too much. Let's keep going up this way. Okay, um, uh, host a dueling tournament here. That would actually be a really good idea. Um, I don't know really, like, I don't know if I'd really want to do that or not. Mm. I kind of like the idea of doing a dueling tournament in a really, really cool place, but I'm not sure if Hyjal will be that place. Oh, and this is where you walk around. Wow, so this is like almost verbatim what it used to be. Holy shit.
we go. Another beautiful view. Truly incredible. Behold the majesty of Hydril, guys. Absolutely amazing. You guys like it? Man, I, I really think I'm going to put on another song. Too. I'll put on a good song that I want to listen to here. Okay. Wow. So why was why is there a giant crater here? Was this where the world tree was or something? Well, there's no way because the world tree is still alive, right? I think it must be. Yeah, why, why was there a, a huge uh, a huge crater here? Uh, that's Archimon's footprint. No, I don't think so. Uh, that's the Firelands? No, this
So this is the same world tree right there. He's climbing the world tree. And all you had to do was hold back Archimon because he was so powerful. There he is, Malfurion. trying to destroy the world tree because he's bad. And they had to stop him. I never realized Archimonde was so big. They nerfed him. There he is. And a new root grows. The roots will heal in time, as will the entire world. The sacrifices have been made. Just as the orcs, humans, and night elves discarded their old hatreds and stood united against a common foe, that didn't last. So did nature herself rise up to banish the shadow forever. There's Medivh right there. As for me, I came back to ensure that there would be a future. Is that to, to teach the world that it no longer needed guardians. The hope for future generations has always resided in mortal hands. And now that my task is done, I will take my place amongst the legends of the past. Until we need you for content again, then we're going to add you back into the game. So as you see here, uh, things didn't necessarily go very well for Archimond. Uh, the whole situation with the world tree and, uh, you know, him taking over Azeroth and killing everybody. Uh, you know, I mean, sometimes you just don't really, you know, things just don't work out the way y you plan. And, uh, that's the way it goes. Yeah, he just wanted to get an apple. That's right. And people killed him for it. Archimon died for trying to be healthy. Azeroth is full of fat fucks. Uh, two jaws? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, he's a fucking demon. Of course he's got two jaws. Okay, so apparently we can swim all the way down to the bottom of this. All right, let's go down there, dude. Sometimes you get God. Exactly, dude. Like, the Warcraft 3 cinematics... I cannot fucking wait until the Warcraft 3 cinematics get remastered. Like, I really think that Blizzard, like, you can say every bad thing about Blizzard that you want, and I will probably agree with you. But the one thing that I'm probably not going to agree with is the fact that a lot of the things that Blizzard are doing, like the, uh, the, the old school, like, the cinematics, the cinematics are amazing. Every cinematic has been amazing. Blizzard never fucks up with the cinematics. And, uh, I, yeah, I, I think it's definitely true. Yeah, uh, no remastered? No, I, I want them to remaster the cinematics. I, I do. Uh, I think they will do it right. Uh, I trust Blizzard to remaster the cinematics and do it in the correct way. I definitely do. So this is where you would fight. Uh, this is would be the Night Elf base right there. You talk to Taronda to get the tears of the goddess that you wouldn't use whenever Archimonde would knock you up in the air and then you'd die. And uh, remember that, guys? That was the first fight that had any sort of real personal responsibility in Burning Crusade. Well, not really the first one. But it was a fight that had personal responsibility. For anybody that didn't know, this is the way that a fight worked back in BC. So Archimonde would have this ability called, I was like, Air Burst or something like that. And it would shoot players up in the air. And you had to use an item that Taronda would give you to slow your fall.
Let's go back this way. I how do you get to GM Island? Like I I'm actually curious. I I how do you even get there? Tanaris. Um be a 